DaVinci Resolve for noobs. I was just working on a clip of a BMX biker going through the air and losing a stunt and ended up falling and crashing to the ground. But I wanted to really punch this up by using music to bring it to life. And I used a trick called automating the EQ to make that happen. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Over here in the Fairlight page, I've actually got the music split into two sections. This opening section right here is where I'm going to apply that audio effect to. And then the other section is where I'm going to have no effect, where the music's going to come in full force. And if you see this line here, this is actually the EQ being automated. Now let me show you how to do that. The first thing you'll need to do is go right up here, just above your timeline, and you'll need to turn on the automation. Automation is kind of like keyframing, but you're doing it in real time. And then to the right of that, what you want to do is turn on your automation controls. Now, the thing I want to automate for this first section is actually the EQ. So I want to set this for right. I'm going to leave the touch off at this point. I want to make sure the on stop is set for event. And then what I'm enabling is the EQ because that's what I'm going to automate. Now down here in the track itself in this drop down menu, I'm going to expand that, scroll down to EQ, and I'm going to set it for band three. And I want to control the frequency. Once I've set that, I just need to enable the automation by clicking right here. And you'll see this red line appears. That's gonna be my real-time recording of the automation. Now for this track right here, I'm gonna go over and I'm going to double left click there and open up the EQ. I'm gonna activate band one to create a high pass filter and roll off some of the lows. I'm gonna turn off band two, turn off band four, and turn off band five. But I'm gonna activate band six and bring that in a little bit. And then band three, I'm gonna grab and I'm gonna drag that up a little bit. And what I'm gonna do as this plays through is I'm gonna drag and move band three across this EQ, and that's going to be recorded right into this track. So the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to hit play on my keyboard by hitting the space bar, left click and hold on this icon right here, number three EQ, and I'm going to move it across to the right. And you'll see it right that in real time down in this first clip. And when I play this back in real time, you'll actually see this EQ move. It's recorded that motion that I made and it's applying it to that clip. Now, when I go back to the edit page and combine that with the original footage, you get something like this. 